Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT The Game Season 3, Episode 137. This is NXT Resistance. It's me, Mikey Bro, here with the one, the only, Cohen! What up, guys? Back for one, buddy, 137, 137th episode. This is NXT Resistance. Let's get straight into the action, Cobro. The camera pops up to reveal the new NXT Resistance General Manager, Little Miss Alexa Bliss. The fans cheer Cohen as Alexa shows up on the screen with fans extremely delighted, and she purses her lips before she begins to speak. Bliss says, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Resistance. The fans can be heard cheering, followed by an NXT chant. We have been hyping his debut for quite some time now, and tonight, Zack Sabre Jr. makes his NXT debut. And Cohen in our main event. We are going to see none other than Roderick Strong take on Mr. NXT. The fans chant NXT again before getting more hyped. But to kick it off tonight, we're going to see a 10-woman battle royal. The winner, Cohen, becomes the number one contender to Asuka's NXT Women's World Championship. And that starts right now. 70C+. Plus. Maru, Kevin Kelly, and Steve Crenna were pretty weak, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, says we deserve better announcing and color commentary. This angle got us off to a crowd start. Roddy looked good. Mr. NXT looked great. They were hyping to see everybody, Cohen. And uh, no skill improvements. Let's see what our opening match gives us. Who's going to be the number one contender to Asuka's championship? And a decent match. Kyrie Zane won a battle royal in 1442 with the final four being Becky Lynch, Dakota Kay. Excuse me, Dakota Kai and Candice LeRae with Becky Lynch being the final elimination. Kyrie Zane returns from injury, Cohen. Gets the most eliminations, and she, after being injured and being unable to face Asuka at Legacy 2, are... WrestleMania and a big... Biggest show of the year. Season. Kyrie Zane. All right, she's here. And she's ready to challenge Asuka again. Kira Hogan sustained a coronal laceration. That's not good. That's an injury. Yeah, that's a big injury. As Kyrie Zane gets the last elimination, Cohen Kyrie Zane, who was set to face Asuka at Legacy, has won the Battle Royal and is your new number one contender. The camera shifts to Asuka, who's been at ringside with Pete Dunne, both of whom of Manifest Destiny the faction. Asuka stands up with her championship, Cohen, as Kyrie Zane is celebrating the ring. Asuka and Pete Dunne sharing a look. They got off. After having to face the Pirate Princess, but it doesn't look like that's now. As Asuka has the contender to her championship. And it's none other than the Pirate Princess herself, Kyrie Zane. So Dunn was good. We got the crowd hot. Asuka was good. Is anybody ready for Asuka? Has advanced with the segment. 70 C+. Let's keep it moving. Next up, we see Zack Sabre Jr., ZSJ, warming up backstage and putting the towel around his neck and over his head before walking out the door. And then down a the hall. Zack Sabre Jr. makes his debut. Next. Next. So technically gifted, the storyline with Zack Sabre Jr. begins Cohen 79B. And let's see what the match gets. In an extremely short match, Zack Sabre Jr. defeats C Cesar Bagnani in 309 with the senior stretch. 58C minus Zack Sabre Jr. with a big one in his debut. Color commentary helps a little bit. Zack Sabre Jr. Cohen is getting better at his gimmick. 63 and 30 respectively for Sabre Jr. and Bagnani. No skill improvements. Let's move on. Zack Sabre Jr. celebrates with the fans at ringside Cohen after winning his debut match. 56 C minus. Alright, next up the fans cheer seeing Alexa Bliss, the general manager of Resistance, but then switch to booze as they see the NXT World Champion Andrade Cien almost walking in with Zelina Vega. Almost Z Starts in bliss before she's cut off by Zelina Vega. Congratulations on your new job. You're a little promotion, Alexa, says Zelina, flipping her hair, trying to assert her dominance over Alexa. Bliss says, why, thank you, Zelina, which causes Zelina to be annoyed. How can I help both of you? Zelina smirks a little bit and he continues. She says, how can you help us? You can help us by letting know who's next in line to challenge for El Idolo's NXT World Heavyweight Championship. That's how you can help us. Alexa simply smiles and nods and she says, well, I'm glad you asked, and fair enough. Because the winner tonight, the winner of tonight's main event, will be the number one contender to the NXT World Championship. Zelina nods, doing the math. Roderick Strong and Mr. NXT will face off in the main event. Zelina says, yeah, okay. So, basically, we've just been 
told that the winner of tonight's main event, Cobro, it's going to be the number one contender to Andrade's championship. Is it going to be Roderick Strong, the former champion, or will it be the current NXT Money in the Bank briefcase holder, Mr. NXT? What do you think? This is the favorite part of, uh, the, of, of the show. It's Cobro predicts the wrong wrestler for show. All right. ADB. Next up, in an extremely short match, Adam Cole... Baby. Defeats Fabian Ackner in 518 with a flying crossbody. That's all it took to get Ackner down tonight. 37C plus Adam Cole with the victory. 71 and a 41 respectively. Adam Cole, your NXT victor here tonight. After the bell sounds, the Undisputed Era moves in and grabs the microphone. Cole beginning to look into the camera. He says, you see that, Johnny Wrestling? Says Adam Cole panting. Remember last week, Johnny Wrestling defeated Bobby Fish. That is how you make quick work of an opponent. That is how you dominate the fans. Boo, yet cheer Cole at the same time. This is our era, Johnny. This is our era. And don't you forget it. The Undisputed Era tosses up the hand gestures and leaves. Adam Cole making it known they're getting back on track. And they, they hope Johnny Wrestling is watching. So the Gargano State scoreline and the Undisputed Era scoreline has continued. O'Reilly is learning to show more charisma. Which is great, baby. 77B Cohen, the Undisputed Era looks like they have Johnny Wrestling in their sights. Next up, the camera lands on the NXT World Champion backstage, Andrade Cien Almas with Zelina Vega. Zelina Vega says, I don't like her, says Vega, referring to Alexa Bliss. Andrade Cien Almas then says, let's just give her a chance, mama, says Vega, who walks up to Almas now. What, you think she's cute, asks Vega? Andrade Almas just smiles. He says, I'm just saying, let's take a step back and make her work for us. Vega nods after thinking about this. You're right, says Vega flipping her hair. Let's make her work for us. The camera fades out on almost and Vega, not sure what that meant, but a huge smirk on their faces. What do they have in plan for Alexa Bliss? We don't know, but we know Zelina Vega is very cunning, Cohen. And the champion, well, he's not too bad either. 79 B+. Next up, also announced by GM Bless Cohen, starting next week, an eight-man tournament to decide the first ever NXT North American champion. The finals taking place at NXT TakeOver Rumble. This will be our TakeOver event, Cohen, after Rage's TakeOver. So we're going to have another TakeOver and then a Rumble, which will be a dual-man TakeOver, in which it's just three weeks away. That is Rage's TakeOver event. This will also be the co-branded TakeOver, whereas most are not, I think, WWE. So basically, we're going to reveal the brackets at the end of the video of the North American Championship Tournament. It'll be over the couple weeks here on NXT TV. And Cohen will be helping me uh, decide the brackets. But I'm letting you know that the next TakeOver is going to be Rage's TakeOver event. That is, I believe, Philadelphia. And then we'll do NXT TakeOver Rumble, which is like our Royal Rumble TakeOver event. Yes, Cohen. And it is like where the, winner will the get tournament a won. Well, the, the, right. the tournament will end at uh, NXT TakeOver With Rumble. With the two last people. Yeah, absolutely. Because the first TakeOver is Rage. This is Resistance. So they'll go to the co-branded one. 64C. And in the main event, oh, holy shit. In an exceptional match, Roderick Strong draws with Mr. NXT. Following a double count out. <laughs> An 85 and an 81, absolutely crazy match, Cohen. What a match. 87 B+. The bell sounds on the match. Mr. NXT and Roderick Strong being counted out together. The match was supposed to determine the new NXT number one contender to almost his championship. Alexa Bliss now shows up on the ramp looking down at the ring as the two have been separated by the referee. GM Bliss is met with some work to do after her first week. She's still without a number one contender. So, good golly, Miss Molly, 87 plus match, jeez, 89A final segment, and we don't have a number one contender yet. 89A, let's see what we get for the show. An 83B plus, very strong show, Cohen. We're going to go ahead and uh, leave it here. This is NXT The Game Season 3, Episode 137, NXT Resistance, and don't go anywhere quite yet. We're about to reveal the brackets. At the end of the video for the North American Championship Tournament. See you guys next time. And until then, have a glorious rest of your day.